Okay, so I do agree with the fact that Hollywood at times has been annoyingly woke, especially when it comes to the detriment of some of our more beloved franchises. But let's break this down. What he's saying makes no sense. Okay, the majority of the bad guys in this Batman movie were white. Okay, fair enough. Now do me a favor and name for me another Batman movie where all of the corrupt criminals were not white. I'll wait. Tim Burton's movie? White, 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 white. White, 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 and white. Joe Schumacher's shitty movies? White, 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 and extra white. Now let's look at the Great Dark Knight trilogy. White, 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 white. All white villains as well. But now that there's a Batman movie with three black good characters, this is suddenly an issue now. And first off, come on, when is the fucking mayor? Who gives a fuck? It's the mayor of Gotham. It's such a minimalistic role. I don't care if it was a Chinese monkey. Who gives a fuck what color the mayor of Gotham is? Secondly, Catwoman has traditionally always varied between a white and a black actress. And Jeffrey Wright is a phenomenal actor who, in my opinion, fits the bill perfectly for an inner city police commissioner. Listen, I and I think a lot of people don't go into movies counting the number of black versus white people versus Asian people. Who gives a fuck? All that should matter and I think does matter to most people is that the movie was well executed, that the performances were done well. And I'll end with this. At the end of the day, these are fucking fictional characters they're not real who gives a fuck what color they are they're not real people and if you care that luke skywalker is a black person ask yourself why you care some fat guy made him up in like the 1970s out of thin air he, it, who gives a fuck